time as a business consultant, an analyst, a chains agent, a trainer, and a general troubleshooter to entrepreneurs and business leaders. She'll tell you that she is allergic to the word can't, which may be why her client, colleague, author, speaker, and great friend of Go Network, hello, my name is Scott Ginsberg, describes Dixie as a booster, not a buster. Her clients soon discover that blasting through brick walls of I can't is just one of her talents that earned her the name Dynamite. Although another is her fired up approach and positive energy. She has been called a muse, a genius, an alchemist, and a power connector. She has coached both new and established entrepreneurs, authors, speakers, and other coaches. And one thing is always clear, Dixie Dynamite Gillespie brings both energy and clarity to get people fired up, blasting through barriers, and writing and living their own stratospheric success stories. So if you had fun on the 4th of July with fireworks, and even if you didn't, you're going to love this morning's Dynamite session. Please welcome Dixie Gillespie. Nice little bit of improv there. <laughs> So how many of you are writing your own legacy right now? Come on. Right? Do you ever think about legacy? Today we're going to talk about success stories and legacies. So I thought I'd start by telling you a story. You want to hear it? Why? <laughs> really, why do we want to hear other people's story? Do you ever think about that? How many of you grew up on story? Books, movies, we grew up on story, right? How do we learn? We grew up on story. I discovered Bullfinch's mythology in about the third grade. That's dangerous territory for a third grader. And so in the fourth grade, they asked us to choose a partner and act out a, a play, a story. And my partner and I decided we'd act out, if, you, if you're familiar with the myth of Hades and Persephone, that is not considered appropriate material for fourth graders. <laughs> appropriate or not, we, we had a blast with it. So I grew up on myths. And then I got into historical legends, people that were maybe not legends in their own time, but often they were. I read stories of the American Revolution. Did you know there was actually a woman that fought as a man? in the American Revolution. Incredible story. She actually had to fight to get her back pay because there was no provision for paying a woman to fight. So she fought for years to get the money